Throughout history, great warriors have clashed in merciless battles of honor. Not for king and country, but for glory. To test themselves and answer that question that burns inside their brain. Who is the greatest? Who is the greatest? Tonight on Comcast Channel 10, I face Bill Bain, and he's cheated me, he's turned on me. Well, not tonight. Tonight I've got somebody to watch my back. Tonight I might even give him a taste of his own medicine, because I've got an insurance policy of my own. See, my brother Justin, we used to be the dirtiest tag team up and down the East Coast, so I'm gonna give him a little piece of what he deserves. Tonight, Bill Bain finds out who the blue chipper really is. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the first night of World yeah, Domination yeah. Wrestling Alliance. I cannot believe we are here, man. This is huge. I was here as soon as this started off, and man, I can't even tell you what this means to this area, what this means to the company, and what this means to me. And with that being said, let's get to the action. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on to the first match of the night. Downtown Martinsburg. If you're not here, you're missing out. Let's get to the first match right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest is scheduled for one fall. With a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first a company by the guiding light, Doug Rafferty. talent right here. I've been in the ring with Bill Bain. I know what he brings to the team. This yep. guy is amazing. He's been in the ring with guys like Rikishi, CM Punk, Undertaker, you name him, Jeff Hardy. The list goes on and on. So what you're saying is that he's a veteran of this wrestling business. Oh, he's a veteran, yeah. He's a veteran at this business. I mean, he never be gathered. That's sure. I think he can anybody that should be the type of right now. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Bill is a very cold and calculated man. He knows what he wants and he knows how to get it. For sure, Doug Rafferty, longtime manager of the area, in the corner of Bill Bain tonight. We are at the Custom Creations building, and that is located at 605B Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Come check us out one night. I can't think of a better match to start off on Comcast Channel 10 on WRNR TV. What? Bill Bain versus Jordan Evans. Jordan Evans, that's a name. Obviously taking uh, the advantage there. Jordan. Oh, smart. Bill Bain is smart. Yeah. Okay, okay. Not looking good for Bill Bain right now. I mean, I can't take nothing. 
other from him because I've seen this kid. Work. He has a part of the line. He's no real man. Hey, I think uh, Jordan Evans is going to be the future of this wrestling area. He's he's a, a young guy, going to be around for years to come. Well, if this is his plan. There's no better person than Bill Bain to come in here and make his mark. The disrespect right there. I wouldn't have let that happen if I was doing That was disrespectful. We're going to call it how we see it tonight, right, Gavin? I will. You just keep your eyes on it. Big shot to the gut from Bill Bain. Oh, I felt that one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. Business has picked up. Lighting him up tonight. See, Jordan, he's got to be, he's, he has to stay on Bill. You got to stay on Bill. This is all, this is all steaming back to from when Bill Bain turned on Evans. That was a big turn. Bill really showed his true colors to the crowd that night. You know why? Because Bill doesn't need Evans. Bill is a star on his own. They don't know this blue chipper young man from Winchester, Virginia jumping in thinking he can get Bill Bain's ring. Come on now. He's shaking that fist because I guarantee you it was closed. There shouldn't be any closed fist in wrestling. I think you need to change your contacts out. Bill Bain would never do that. Like I said, train better. He knows how to do it. Yeah, yeah, you see Bill working uh, the referee. He's doing everything he can to win. I guess that's the name of the game, though. You, everybody wants to win. Win by any means necessary. Jordan Evans needs to get back on his feet right now if he wants to be a contender to Bill Bain. You know, I know that Jordan Evans was the 2019 Kings and Queens of Indie Wrestling Rising Star of the Year. He's still rising star. He's been a star in this area and every area in between here and California. And Jordan Evans needs to step up his game. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I know Bill Bain is an asset. I think he's a great talent. I just can't agree with the way he goes about his business all the time. Bill Bain is a winner. Right now. See the fans Jordan Evans. If Jordan can keep this up, come on, Jordan. I can't believe Jordan Evans brought his family to see his butt get one today. Well, he's he's had a couple of big falls so far. He's got him. <laughs> Fall away, slam. I do know how that feels. It don't feel good. It is the battle to get back on their feet. Looks like Jordan's getting up just fine. Bill is taking his time. Whenever Bill takes his time, that's not a good thing. His mind's always racing. He's playing chess when the rest are playing checkers. Come on, let's get Doug out of here. Oh, he's got some matching shirts. With Jordan Evans' brother getting involved. Back bill. Oh, that had to be a low point. No, that was right in the midsection. Oh, he used the weapon. Jordan Evans just used the weapon. That's your blue chipper. Wait a minute here. This can't happen. That's one. Contest from Jordan Evans, the rising star. Well, I am appalled that Jordan Evans has stooped so low to knock out such a veteran, such a great name as Bill Bain. I guarantee this will not be the end of this. It looked like Jordan Evans brought some backup tonight because of Doug Rafferty. It ended up playing well in his hand. By any means 
unnecessary. I didn't think it was going to be Jordan Evans. It surprised me with how far he'll go. The sky's the limit as far as I'm concerned. What a match that was. I can't believe Jordan Evans would stoop that low. I mean, you would think. What are you talking about? What do you mean what I was talking about? Bill Bain tried to use his manager. I mean, he was using the rep behind his back. I mean, Jordan Evans brought his whole family here. His whole family. And he won. Yeah, he won. It was a big win for Jordan Evans tonight. We're going to head to the next matchup. My name is Luke McCarran. This commercial break is scheduled for one fall. You're watching the World Domination Wrestling Alliance on TV 10. We are just mere moments away, my friends, for tonight in the Custom Creations Arena. World Domination Wrestling Alliance, I, Israel Sharif Accord, shall prove to all of you that it doesn't matter if the miasma Zach Ramsey's is 6'9", 280 plus pounds, because one militia kick, my friends, and all that size comes crashing down tonight. If you are watching on Comcast Channel 10, brace yourself, my friends. as Lake. Comcast 10, welcome to your moment with the miasma here for WDWA. The last week or so, myself, Zach Ramses, and my opponent, Mr. Israel Fakur, we've been exchanging some pleasantries on social media. I told my opponent that he was getting into something that he might not be prepared for when he faces the miasma one-on-one -on -one inside the ring. And Mr. Fakur responded ever so elegantly that, uh, I'd be finding myself laying in a refugee camp when all was said and done because he was going to take things to another level. And <laughs> I respect your confidence, but uh, don't have your confidence misplaced. Because at the end of the day, the six foot nine, 285 pound Zach Ramsey's is not someone that you walk in overconfident against. Because when you do, things don't end well. So stay tuned, keep your eyes wide open and on that screen because you're not going to want to miss what happens when. Zach Ramses gets his hand on Mr. Fakor tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And the time limit. Time limit. Your referee for this match is Richie White. <laughs> Introducing first, this time I'm coming to the ring by the guy you like. One of the most impressive dominant talents in that ring. You can't have a better guy in a company called World Domination. I have seen this guy come in and just kick the door straight down and take whatever he wants. I think he's going straight to the top. That is what he does, and if he goes straight to the top, I'm not going to be surprised myself. I found out that this guy has seven wives. Seven wives? Seven! I used to have one wife, and she drove me crazy. How can you deal with that handicap match at all? It takes a real man to handle seven. Heavily medicated, maybe. Who knows? But nonetheless, a serious talent in that ring. And again, he's accompanied by the smartest man in the business, the guy who like Doug Rafferty. Hopefully, Doug can stay out of this match. Stop talking, Doug! Monster of a human being. And I'm sure today he's here to make his spot here in the WDWA. 
If he picks up the win tonight on ISP, that is a big win. specimen right there. What do you got in your notes there? Where is this guy from? So this guy is from Oceanside, New York. Okay, coming all the way from New York to Martinsburg, West Virginia to show ISP a thing or two about professional wrestling. You know, it's been said that this guy is a 21st century big man, like a Brody or a Dick Murdoch. It's very calculated, easy, and it angers so easily. Angers so easily. Now, this sounds like a guy I like. I've been known to get mad a time or two. He's in there with the wrong guy. This guy stays in here. Just look at ISP's face. There's not nothing to like about that. A lot of jabbering back and forth, taking jabs at each other. ISP, you don't have too much to say though. Once the action starts, we'll see it. That is a good referee move right there. We gotta keep it nice and clean in that ring. White's a veteran. He's been a referee in matches as long as I've known him. Has he? Oh, big uppercut. ISP's gonna need a minute to recover from that. Using the ropes to his advantage, that's not a bad idea. Wall to wall. Zach has this crowd in the palm of his hands right now. Look at that. ISP's got him. He's sicking him like a dog. Unbelievable. How can he get away with that? He was tying his shoe. He did not want him to go the rest of his match with his shoe. That that's not what was happening. And that's uh, ISB. He tapes up his feet, and then he's just hitting you with bone and skin. And look at that! Putting his feet in his face—that's that's disgusting. Disgusting. Using the ropes as advantage. I mean, I'm getting sick over here. Big kick to the back there. Hey, what's this? I'm surprised that did not get a three kick. ISB's got a lot to say to the referee tonight. Boom, big punch. ISB has a lot to say about Iran. That's where he is from, correct? Yes, he is. Huge crossbody block. I'm really starting to like Zach. On the back of ISP's head. He folded like an accordion. Drilled right into the ground. How did he kick out of that? That was the biggest kick out I've seen so far tonight. I felt that way over here. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, what a contest. And I do want to say, if you are ever in the Martinsburg area, you can catch us at 605B Winchester Avenue. He's got ISP up running around the ring for what is a following slam. ISP, he needs to think of something quick now. Got your lights in his ear right now. I'm sure they got something playing. Come on, Doug needs to get out of there. Richard is a great referee, but he needs to keep his eye on Doug. Look at that. Good job. need to up his prescription. Yeah. Coming in with a big suplex back into the ring. We will see. Oh. Now that, now that is a beautiful move. Yes, it's a beautiful move. you got to be aware of where you are in the ring at all times. ISP knows, but he cannot take the big man down. Inside that ring, use that ring. Just use your body on your opponents. That ring is there. Will it need the chest? Is that it? No, it is not, ladies and gentlemen. ISP is not happy. Looking to the crowd for a response. They are saying it was a two as well. ISP, former WDWA tag team. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Accomplished wrestler here in the WWE. High risk maneuvers as well. I watch him win those titles. Ooh, this guy is so good. Oh. Caught him with the knee lift. Here comes Zach. House of Fire. Let's go! Oh, he's got these people. He has them. That was almost a Yakuza kick. Looked like a running boot in the corner. And what is this? Another boot. Let's go! Yeah! I'm just glad I'm not in the ring with a six foot nine monster. Yeah! That's it. That's gotta be it. Wow. ISP is still in this. He is not gonna give up. Doug was surprised. We're all surprised. Ben looking to the crowd for some motivation. Let's see what we got coming up here. Big choke slam. Going for the Whoa, winner. Wow, what a match. Zach Ramsey has made his position known. Before going to this match, I knew nothing about this guy. Now I'm going to remember his name, remember his presence, and remembering even ISP laying on his back. Yes. And it looked like Doug was staying out of the out of that match a little bit more than he was in the last one. Maybe that's what uh, I think him and ISP needs to think of a new game plan. ISP is accompanied by one of his wallets. Maybe he was still off on that. Maybe he was still off on his wife because he didn't make it tonight. I would hate to be hurt when he gets back home. I don't think he's going to recognize his wife whenever he gets home. He don't know where he is. is here in WDWA and after a showing just like that putting the world championship on him I'm calling it now that guy right there he's got what it takes we will have to keep our eyes on ISP from this point forward that was a big loss tonight uh, ISP and Doug Rapper they're gonna have to come together after this one yes they will on to the next match
Since I made my return to WDWA, one thing has been on my mind, becoming champion again. And for some reason, they just keep putting me in front of these obstacles like Anton and Zeke Mercer. But tonight, tonight is different. I go up against a man who I have so much history with, the leader of the Revolution, the man, the myth, the regent himself, Senior Reggie Collins. And let me tell you something. I overheard him saying that I was the baddest man in the tri-state area, and he may have gotten that one right. But the one thing he got wrong is that at the end of the match, the crowd's not going to be holding up two thumbs for the slice and nice. They're going to be looking at me with my head held high, looking down at Reggie Collins for one last time, flicking my nose, and they're all going to hear me say, now that is a sizzling report. And Senior Collins, tonight, you will find out firsthand that Cisco isn't just the baddest man on the planet. He's the baddest man that's ever lived. Hey everybody, Reggie Collins here, and I'm here for the World Domination Wrestling Alliance, and I got some exciting news. It turns out, in Martinsburg, West Virginia, we're gonna be making our debut program for TV10. And what better way to do it than for the leader of the Revolution to face off against El Matone Cisco? Cisco's one of the baddest mamma jammas around, and it seems like everybody's trying to break apart the leader of the Revolution. But it's like throwing a flower petal off the Grand Canyon and expecting to hear an echo. It just isn't gonna happen. But we're in for a tough belt, and I cannot wait for every single member of the Revolution chanting, Reggie, set, go! Reggie, set, go! And they're gonna have their thumbs way high up in the air for the slice of nice himself. Tonight, my name is Reggie Collins, and I approve that message with a thumbs up. Austin Teets. Did you just say he had awesome teats? I said his name is Austin Teets. Oh, I thought he had awesome teats. I was I would, why you would know that. I would never say that. I mean, it would be pretty cool if he had awesome teats. You can dream. This next match, one-on-one -on -one contest. The great Cisco making his way to the ring now. I have been in the ring against Cisco. He was one of the guys I didn't know too much about until I got to the ring. I left there being a completely different wrestler. You know, but there was something about him that I could not understand. I could not catch up to the talent that he has. This guy is ripped to shreds and he came to wrestle tonight. You can tell. He's definitely been hitting the gym, he's been working on his body. You can catch wrestlers like Cisco here on TV10. Starting July 3rd, we will be on every Saturday night, 9 to 11. You know, Cisco was trained by one of my all-time favorites, the enforcer, Arn Anderson. Wow. You know that? Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson. Another Unbelievable. Guy's like MVP. Rock and Roll Express member Robert Gibson. This guy, the sky's the limit. We will be seeing shades of those wrestlers, hopefully. Cisco is his own wrestler. Collins, another wrestler who is uh, in his first couple years being on the road, but he's showing all the talent in the world, all of the ambition. I think in the next, there he is. Slice of nice. Contender for match of the night, I think. Uh, I think we have a heck of a match in front of us. Dirty. That was dirty and uncalled for. I'm 
unbelievable. This should not be happening this way. Cisco at least taking it back into the ring where it should be. He's liable to break that wrist if he keeps torquing it. Reggie Collins is in a bad way. That elbow needs checked on it as soon as possible. There's many matches that start out like this. You know, you can see one of the guys get hurt early on, but they come back. They show that perseverance. Cisco is not a happy camper. He looks excited. He looks in it tonight. But Cisco, he didn't come here to lose, did he? Not at all, Travis. Look at the face of Cisco. He's hungry. He's like a pit bull. This being the first ever showing for World Domination Wrestling Alliance on TV 10. We need a winner, and whoever wins has the bragging rights. Some mat wrestling, if you will. Cisco showing off his amateur wrestling skills with the big roll up. He's getting out of there. Good idea. Not a bad idea. He is showing a lot of frustration early on here. in the corner. Ooh, European uppercut. Reggie wants to be a contender. Got him against the ropes. What are we going for here? Break away from him. He's got him, he, he's got him by the waist here. Oh, here we go. Got him with the pin. That would have been shocking. Caught him with that drop kick. Reggie is down. Cisco is showing a lot of fortitude in this match. Cisco is a showman, you can say that much. Awesome Teats is in there. He needs to get in there deeper. But nonetheless, Cisco has control of this match. The second I say that. Collins firing up. Belly to back, here comes the run up. One step ahead. That connected. Maybe 90 degrees outside, but they heat it here, folks. Off the charts. It's the hottest night of the summer so far. Cisco climbing to the top. To prove that it's hot, Cisco taking the action up top. What is he going for? The biggest elbow drop in town. 
on his feet though. Cisco, you don't want Reggie on his feet. Ambition. And Cisco's at 165 pounds, he's five foot. Whether it's cruiserweight, whether it's heavyweight, whether it's tag, he can get wherever he wants. He's that good. It's true, and he's well traveled. He's been all over the East Coast. He has come here tonight to show Reggie Collins what a real pro wrestler looks like. But Reggie, Reggie is the real deal too. Taking his flag and he's leaving. It's a very controversial win right there, and Cisco knows it. He might stick around actually. Wow! Oh. 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 Amazing! Unbelievable! Every fan in this building has their thumb up. Reggie Collins is over like Rover. I can't disagree with you there. This kid, Reggie Collins, is definitely a huge superstar. He's a clean cut white meat baby face, and ladies and gentlemen, he's here to stay in the WDWA. They're begging for it. 
this match. That is where you can find all the action, some of the best professional wrestling in the state, in the United States. One thing you definitely will find is the resolution. step into the ring with two other men for an opportunity at the light heavyweight title. Now, two other men versus me, the odds are stacked up. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to come into that ring with the adrenaline, kick to the max, and Chris Gatton, Kalen Patrick, you better watch out for the concussion kick. <laughs> For the WWE Heavyweight Championship! Well, Travis, we got a triple run here for number one contender. And we actually have the Cruiserweight Champion with us right now. Yeah, the Light Heavyweight Champion is here today, Viper, Mr. VIP. That's right, baby. Viper decided to uh, grace you guys with his presence, make this show a little bit better. This next match has got some significant meaning for me, so uh, I want to be out here to see. The winner of this match will take on Viper, the light heavyweight champion. Ship. Here comes the young Kalen Patrick, the man had to make him out. Potential. Having a mouth does not give you championships. Absolutely. Absolutely. Viper, may I tell you, you have some remarkable hair right now. Of course I do. You have some pretty good looking hair yourself there. I mean, Travis. Uh, well, you my know, my liver is just happy to be between us. We, we, we can't all be gifted. Well, let's bring it back to the ring. Let's have Caitlin Patrick in the match. He is a contender in the light heavyweight division. Can I ask you guys a question? Shoot! Is there a son in here? Why is this kid wearing sunglasses? I think, I, I think he wants to look the part. He wants to look a little cool out right there. What is, what is, what's the problem? I know the action. Maybe he had cataract surgery or something. Maybe. You know, I, I don't see any championships in his future, so... Well, he got those cataracts fixed, then he can see his future. And if he don't step on up against the wild man and Chris Gatt, that's what I was gonna he, say. He damn sure is not gonna get through Viper. Exactly. But don't ever for a second take your eyes off Chris Gatt. 15 years in martial arts experience, including Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, catch wrestling. 
And ladies and gentlemen, he went viral in an MMA contest where he hit a professional wrestling drop kick in an MMA contest. You heard me right. This man is the real deal. And if he wins tonight, Viper, I'm going to say it right now. You have one heck of a challenger in front of you. Travis, I'll give it to you. Uh, this, this guy, he's, he's got some skills. I've seen him. You know, he's pretty deadly, but uh, he, he's, he's not a snake. He doesn't have the venom that Viper's got. And I, I think I could take care of him. It's not a big deal. I'm not worried. Hey, fair enough. Eric Williams from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Weighing at 170 pounds. Representing Dragon Warrior Kung Fu. Wild Man. Robbie. Longtime veteran of the of the area, Wild Man Robbie Page. Tonight would be a big win for him on the debut episode here. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but Robbie Page and Mr. VIP, we began training at the same time. Long history, guys. And uh, he, he's always been in my shadow. He's always been riding my coattails. He's always trying to outdo me. And he's always coming up short. But can we all agree that Robbie Page is uh, easily one of the biggest fan favorites in the WDWA? Oh, uh, who cares about these fans? <laughs> You know, I got a lot of respect for Robbie. Him and I have been in and out of the ring together. He likes to paint his face up, be this warrior. But I'll tell you, Chris Gatton, now I've been watching this kid. And this is where it gets interesting, guys. And there is no way that Robbie can get out of his eye. I'm looking or forward to this right here. I, I want to see these two guys beat the crap out of each other. We are seeing some catches, catch can wrestling. Who's gonna get the upper hand? They're taking it down to the mat, Trav, I have to admit. Whoever wins will be the light heavyweight number one contender. Let's not forget that. Robbie Page getting the upper hand on Chris Gatton. You know, Robbie Page and Kaylee, both those guys like flying in the air. I don't know. I think they're gonna know what to do with Mr. Chris Gatton. Oh, he's gonna keep it on the ground, for sure. A very technical match we're gonna get from Chris Gatton. I think he's gonna ground it down his way right to the light heavyweight championship. Though, Robbie's also a very technically sound uh, wrestler, and, and that's about the only credit that I'm going to give him during this segment. Oh, for sure. We would, never, we would never take that from Robbie Page. He is a serious threat in this match. As much as I don't want to agree with you guys, I agree with you 100%. But he's still not a VIP. He's definitely not a VIP. He's something, you know, but he's definitely not a light heavyweight champion, I can tell you that. Only a two, though. Duncan under. Here we go. What is this? Running the back suplex. Heck of a move from Wild Man Robbie Page. But see, Robbie should go for a pin right there. He should go for a cover. This is why he's not that intelligent. And there you go. Kalen Patrick, just like that, back in the match. And Kalen comes in and goes to work. He is showing that intensity, Kalen Patrick. If he keeps this up, on the upper hand there. I will say he is the prettiest one in this match. Why? Uh, okay. He just knocked a few more IQ points off of Robbie's head. 
this again? What is he? What is he gonna be? Whoa! Whoa! compared to Gadden. Gadden is getting frustrated now. You can tell by his smile he did not like that. Oh. Oh. Kalen does not want to match legs with this guy. Oh. Big front drop kick. He's got him in a bad place to swing, but the referee's still going to count this one. Two count. That was a smart guy. He went right for the cover. He's a smart guy, but you can tell he hasn't been in the business that long because he did it right next to the ropes, folks. Yeah, very close it's all to about the ropes. Awareness. His kid needs to learn that. And being out here with Robbie Page and Chris Gatton, they're going to teach everything. Hey, team. give him a break. He is in a contendership match, and that's more than what we're saying. Now, I won't take that away from that kid. I'm very proud of him. I can see how far he's gone, but he's Bob in here with two guys top. that can destroy him. These guys that's better pay attention. Championship. <laughs> Adrenaline rush. Robbie has control. Going for that snap suplex. Gadden and Caitlin, they're going to work together. Oh, this is unbelievable. What a move. I'm absolutely disgusted right now. Robbie, 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 Robbie. If you're just tuning in, we got Mr. VIP Piper, the light heavyweight champion with us. Robbie Page, Kip, picking up Caitlin. Here we go. That's it. Cover him. Cover him. Hello, oh, but you gotta be aware of the other man in the ring. Wait a minute. Is this gonna be a. It's over. And it's over. It's an elimination. Caitlin's out of here. That's one less you have to run. Do not do that to Robbie Page. I, w I, I wish I could advise him from here, but do not slap that man in the face. Robbie Page is one of the most hard loving guys I know in this business. When he's not here, he's a Kai Dojo teaching the children. It's true. He's co he comes down here and he trains with the guys here to, to help them become better. He spends too much time being a good guy, slapping hands, signing autographs. I ain't got time for that kind of stuff. I'm winning belts. If you ever get a chance to come out to a show, you will see Robbie Page's line of fans that wait to get their faces painted. They wait to, to buy 8x10s, t-shirts. Robbie has it all. He's definitely a wild man, but he's no VIP. That's true. That's right. While he's slapping hands, I'm drinking Cristal. Robbie wishes he was in a better circumstance right now, I'm sure. Oh! Big shot from Robbie. Oh! Oh, beautiful kick. Ah! Kick his head off. Gadden is showing that more time. Everything he does hurts. What a cheap skate. Look at this. Using the ropes, choking. He's not cheating. It's, it's all about intelligent leverance. It's a good thing we have a, a senior referee in this match to keep it right down the line. Robbie trying to fire back. He's trying here.
match. That just goes to show you you get everything here in the WWE. What is Viper doing? Unbelievable. Why can't anybody just do it the right way? Viper doesn't need to be doing it this way. He's so talented. Why don't you ask him out on a date, Gavin? Is he looking? You keep talking about his hair and his... And come on. Beautiful people know beautiful people. Alright? You wouldn't know nothing about that. Is that because I'm a ginger? Is that why? Let's keep it professional, Gavin. One hell of a contest. We got Viper versus Robbie Page tentatively at a future date. What a beautiful triple threat match. What a beautiful triple threat match. Did you see that? Yeah, from a light heavyweight number one contendership, we got exactly what WDWA is all about. Hard-hitting action. Robbie Page had the fans behind him, and I'm over here, and I'm telling Travis, fans do not get you the one, two, three. Buying merch does not get you championships. But for some reason, those fans were pumping the blood in the wild man, and he came off with a victory tonight. With the VIP, number one contender, Robbie Page. Stay tuned, everybody. VIP, it's just a little flash in the pan for us. I'm WDWA referee Billy Bowers. If you're not watching WDWA wrestling on TV10, you're disqualified.